A plea to drivers by police. Avoid I-94 and I-65 in northwest Indiana. This video from the Mobile Weather Lab shows you exactly why. A semi-truck jackknifed on 65 near 94 in Hobart. The state patrol says there's no timetable for when it will be cleared. Now let's bring in CBS2 traffic reporter Chris Habermau. Chris, the deep freeze is making it tough for people to get around. Jim and Erica, it's been a trying couple of days for drivers, for public servants, and residents across the region as we've experienced one of the most intense and triple threat storms that we've seen in a long, long time. Let's go ahead and take a look graphically at what uh, this has done to traffic here. You can see it's a fairly standard rush hour for a Friday, even considering the conditions on the core expressways around Chicago. In the lower right corner, that's where the action is at. Northwest Indiana, as we've been saying, there's a couple of closures in play. First of all, eastbound I-94. We'll talk about that in a second. Southbound I-65, that's coming up next. First of all, let's uh, center up on this one on I-94. It's an overturned bulk tanker. Eastbound at Wagner Road, which is a little bit uh, about halfway between 20 and State Road 49. We've got some video of that. Uh, this uh, tanker is uh, actually carrying sodium hydroxide, which is basically a corrosive. It's a cost stick soda or lye and it's used in the soap making process it's kind of a crud cutter so it's not a, a universal hazard to anybody who's uh, in the area except if you come in contact with it being a corrosive that has to be offloaded before they can get that tanker uprighted again once that's done then they still have to salt and plow the roadway because Mother Nature's not waiting. While that uh, lane is down there, you can see the eastbound side on the right side in this picture, it's getting even more iced over. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to the maps and we'll talk about our uh, workarounds here as we get into things. And you've got to be careful. You see that semi there making the lane change? Be real easy doing that. That's where we're getting our spin outs. So our workaround to that because it's going to be out there tonight. US 20 to State Road 49, travel is not recommended because the conditions are still bad. Now, south of there, we're talking about south on I-65. It's been closed off all afternoon. Got a jackknife semi. It's closed from State Road 2 in Lowell to State Road 10 down by Roselawn, 231 to State Road 10 to get around that one. And Albert was talking about this, southwest Michigan closure. It is so bad that the Michigan State Patrol has closed off I-94 in its entirety there, starting at milepost 4. So if you're going east and you would be normally going into the lower part of Michigan, can't do it. It's blocked off the Niles exit because right around there and points north, you've got multiple crashes, vehicles in ditches, and blizzard-like conditions, and it's hazardous with the whiteout out there. So the best workaround, and I know it's harder to do as time goes along, is just stay put because we're getting closer to Christmas and people are anxious to get out on the road. But believe me, I'd rather talk to you than about you in the traffic report. Jim and Erica, back to you. Indeed. Thank you, Chris.